What's up guys, my name is Andy. On my 66 Mustang, I have that factory alternator adjustment bracket that when you, when you go to tighten the belt with your alternator, you gotta stick a pry bar in there and you gotta crank it over to the side so that you can tighten that, that 916 bolt there on the bottom to get that belt tight enough. And <laughs> in previous videos, I had struggled with getting the right belt size as if it was too long that I would run out of adjustment on that adjustment bar or the belt didn't fit right, it would be squeaking because I couldn't get it tight enough, you know, the, the V shape, you know, the, the thickness of the belt, all that kind of stuff. And I was struggling with stuff like that. And one of the things that I noticed is this adjustment bar that I have in here doesn't give me enough range of adjustment to tighten up my alternator. So I came up with a new, new part that I want to install in my car to fix that problem. And what I've got is just your standard turnbuckle style kind of system where you can spin the center section and the, these rod ends will thread outwards. And then this little bracket right here will allow me to connect to the alternator, but then this won't get in the way of that fan that spins on the alternator. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to see it, but you can the shape of this bar is actually kind of comes down and it swoops underneath these fan blades. And that shape allows this alternator to pivot in and out along this, this slider system here, and this won't get in the way of the fan blades or whatever type of style of system you have on your, this, this is never in the way. Well, with the part that I've got, I need that little bracket on the end so that the that turnbuckle adjustment won't get caught in these blades. Let's take this apart and I'll show you how this is gonna install. So go ahead and grab yourself your 916 wrench and we're gonna loosen the bolt that, that the uh, alternator is attached to this bracket. And you're gonna wanna hold on to this bolt because we're gonna need this on the new linkage system that I've got. Yeah, this guy right here, we're gonna wanna hold on to that. We're gonna need that in a minute. We'll just pivot this guy down. We can get this, just get the belt out of our way. Now to get this bracket out of here, we're gonna get this last 9 16th bolt out. Now I've got a new bolt what we're gonna put right here. You don't wanna lose this stuff, but I, I do supply the hardware that we're gonna need for this spot. So here's the linkage system that was on the car. The bolt that attaches on the water pump. This is the bolt that goes in the alternator. Again, we're gonna to wanna to hold onto that. And you can see how it's got that shape to it. And what that does is, again, that alternator slides along this track here. And because of that shape, it gets everything out of the way of those fan blades. So my new setup is going to be, here's this bolt, we're gonna replace this guy. And this is a little bit longer because we're gonna need just a little bit more threads because this is thicker than that. So we're gonna put that there in the water pump. And we're gonna reuse the bolt from the alternator that goes in this hole. And then we've got a bolt here, and this is a fine thread bolt, so we can get uh, plenty of grip on this piece. And this the way this is gonna sit in there is kind of something like that. And that's why I've got this piece, so that we can get the head of this rod end out of the way of the fan blades and still attach to the alternator. And the way this is cut out back here, this, is, this will work with that, that foot or that boss on the bottom of the alternator. This bracket only works with this style of boss on the bottom of the alternator. Some of them have a kind of a rounded pointy end to it, kind of like the top. And you have to have this style for this to work because the way this is cut out, it fits this kind of shape right here and put, you know, it sits right on side there and fits in there like a key almost. So that's, this is the style you have to have if you want to use this kind of bracket. I'll put this in place and then we'll spin this center section and it'll drive those rod ends out and tighten up just like you do when you we had the alternator here and you got to put that pry bar on there to get this so that it slides along here and gets it tight enough. We're going to do that with this so we don't have to use a pry bar anymore. We can just use spin this and then we can put a 9 16 uh, open end wrench on this and drive it out and then we can lock these down with the jam nuts. So let's get this installed. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is again install this new bolt that comes with the kit through here, and then we're gonna install it on into the water pump boss right here. We'll just throw that in by hand and we'll tighten it later. And then we're gonna use the bolt from the alternator. And we're gonna put that through here, make sure the word cruise is facing out. We're gonna just slide it through here and thread it in to that boss on the alternator. And you're gonna notice that, again, this little cutout here is designed to fit around this foot on the bottom of the alternator. And it only goes in one spot. If it's just like it's supposed to, we'll thread this in place. And 
And you may have to adjust the this turnbuckle here to kind of get everything so this all lines up and it sits square with with the foot of the of the alternator. Here's a little bit better look at what it looks like there on the bottom of the alternator. You can see how that Z bracket piece kind of fits on there and goes in place. And you want to make sure again that it's squared up as you tighten everything down. Uh, so let's put the belt on and, uh, and get it tightened up. Right, we'll get this guy on here. There we go. And now normally this is where you would have to pry this out of the way. But now we can just start turning this and it'll drive it out and tighten up the belt. But right before we do that, let's tighten up these two 916 bolts on each end. Get everything snug there. Get it snug there. Now we can work on this guy. And at first you can spin it by hand and you'll see it starting to tighten up the belt here. Now we're at the point where I'm gonna to to start using the wrench, but you can see we're, we're a lot tighter than we were before. Again, we're just using a 916 wrench. It's a little snug fit in here. So it's gonna take a couple turns. And once you get to the desired tightness, then we could just take and run these jam nuts down. And again, there's, you know, this is a, on this end is a right hand thread. On the other end, it's a left hand thread. There's a little mark on the end of the bar so you can identify where the left hand thread goes. There's a right hand, left hand thread rod end in the kit. So make sure you put the right one in each, in the correct end. And we're gonna wanna tighten down these jam nuts. And as a reminder, this bolt is a coarse thread bolt that comes in the kit and that goes in the water pump and the bolt down here that comes with the kit that goes with this little z-bracket that's a fine thread bolt you're going to want to make sure you get the correct bolt in each spot the fine thread one won't thread in here and the coarse thread one won't thread in here so it, it is kind of a one-way deal so make sure you get the right bolt in the right spot all right guys so that's uh that is an adjustment bar installed and again, now you've got a lot more adjustment than that the stock bar provided because of these rod ends, you can throw that out. So depending on the, I, I had a, a longer belt on here before and I ran out of adjustment. I was at the very end of that slide on that stock bar. Now I've got more adjustment with this if I needed it, if that was the belt that I had on here. I've got the correct belt now, but for some of you guys that are struggling with that, this will solve that problem. And you can see down here again, this is all set up. Everything's tight and good in place. There we go. Make sure you tighten this guy, you tighten that guy, and you can tighten that one. They're all 9 16 so it keeps it simple for one tool. And you're good to go. All right, guys, now here's the important part. Where can you get one of these awesome alternator linkage setups for your car? You wanna head over to my website, cruisebuilt.com, grab yourself one of these. And while you're there, you can grab yourself a Cruisebuilt t-shirt, get this set up on your car, and you're good to go.